Z, what do you get when you put Caterpillar Face, a butch young boy, and a female Michael Strahan together in Texas? The world's ugliest movie ever, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022! <laughs> I think we're going to spoil this one. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Perhaps the worst movie. Perhaps the ugliest movie on Netflix. <laughs> the straight up ugliest movie ever seen on Netflix. I was never so enraged watching a movie. Yeah, but it was, was so just, nice you watched it twice. It was so unattractive. That you had to watch it two times. I did, yeah. Because I, I blacked out. I, I totally missed parts of the movie the first time because I was too angry texting about it. How, how are you able to even see after how ugly it was? A lot blinding. of alcohol helps. Yeah. Yeah? I don't understand why this movie... Well, first off, is Texas Chainsaw Massacre even that popular of a franchise? I really don't think it was. Yeah, it was fil- the original was filmed in 1974 and is probably one of the most influential horror movies ever made. Uh, yeah, but as soon as other ones came out, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, they're all significantly more popular. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think they missed the point as to what was scary and horrifying about the original one. The original one is more bizarre and has more like disturbing scenes than it does scary scenes like ultimately the entire thing is just more disturbing than it is scary yeah yeah i i I mean he it also there's this is the halloween version of uh where it's the direct sequel 50 years later so 30 years later no this was 50 years later 500 years later so uh what this it's like a fucking geriatric man with a chainsaw spoilers yeah Spoilers. Yeah, this, is, this is in the trailer. We're gonna no, we're gonna straight spoil this thing because it's terrible. There's nothing really to spoil. I mean, the deaths, I guess. I guess. What? I mean, I I I was gonna read. You were texting me while you were watching this. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking angry. Yeah. I mean, I can say some of the things. He Go ahead. <laughs> you clearly were not paying attention. I can, so I, <laughs> you're like, what's the effing audience score on this, dear effing lord? Some D syndrome biatch just murdered two cops by snapping her arm and stabbing them with the bone. What the F? I was like, no, that is not what happened. That didn't happen even remotely. I was too angry to realize what actually happened. Uh, I did say, I was the first one to say though, I did say to you that the people in this movie are insanely ugly. They really are. And you said something about one of them being perhaps a man. The other one has caterpillar eyebrows. Let's just say J.K. Rowling would not support the one character. No, the other is Michael Strahan. Yeah. Even the hot one looked retarded. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you said, please explain which one isn't ugly outside this movie. Uh, the black guy was okay. You also said, what exactly are they doing? Did they buy a town? Yeah, and like, they were well, honestly... Ugly. And they're, uh, they're fucking chefs, apparently? When did that happen? Yes, you clearly missed the part where they were chefs. So, the story is... We're gonna run through it a little bit. There's these these kids driving a Tesla, or at least an electric car. No, it's a Tesla. Is, is it, it's a Tesla. It's a Tesla. They make it a point to oh. show it the autopilot feature. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's a Tesla. No, it's it could a t- be it's a any Tesla. electric car. Okay, yeah, so they Tesla. get there... And they stop at a gas station, even though there's no gas to be had. Oh, it's, it's, that's right. It's a fucking Tesla. <laughs> yes. Although, remember, the uh, the special one was getting snacks. She needed snacks. Yeah, she needed snackies. snackies. So she instead did. of stopping for power, they stopped for snackies. They did. And a man rolls up in a big gas guzzler, and he has a gun. And they spend all this time insulting the man with a gun because one of them has some previous trauma about a school shooting. Which is never spoken about ever again. It also makes no sense for the context of the movie or character. No, because she ends up uh, using a gun by the end. So anyway, I guess that was overcoming her fear. I, I no, I know. Um, who knows? Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, perhaps. So they they like disrespect this guy for no reason, and you're like, am I supposed to root for somebody here? So then they end up in this town, and you find out that they 
are auctioning the town off. It's like a ghost town. Making it a hippie sex center for food and culture. Yes, food and culture because they're chefs and they meet a banker who's going to like auction off like... Oh, look, my yogurt stand's gonna look so fabulous right here. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, I don't know who this was making fun of. Was this, like, was this a criticism? Was it anti-gun? It wasn't because they used guns. Like, they did. was it anti-hippie? Was it anti, like, what? Anti-attractive? It was definitely anti-attractive. <laughs> you uh, also said, explain to me who's not ugly in real life in this movie. You said they're all toads. <laughs> They are toads. <laughs> and then when I sent you a picture of the one girl, where I said the one girl, so there's there's two main girls, and I guess they're sisters. One has caterpillar eye, eyebrows, mm -hmm. and the other one is uh, they oh put a, a wig on her and deliver caked a bunch of makeup on her to make her look uglier than she actually is. Now she's not like. She's like a normal looking girl. She's not the ugliest thing in the world, but they made her look ugly in this. She starts flirting with the cowboy guy Wait, who she? had the gun. Yeah. And then the, She's the, like 12. The sister comes in and is like, "Did you bang him?" Wait, what? Did you miss that whole part? He get, he lets her hold a gun. I remember that part. What about the banging? She sl she literally says like, "Did you bang him?" Or she goes, "I didn't bang him." Something like something Wait, along what? those lines. Yeah. Okay. And it really turns out to be a slasher movie at first because it's not really a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Because there's no chainsaw to be found for half the movie. And the chainsaw, like the whole chainsaw part is, um, it's not as disturbing as the original movie. The original movie is more unsettling and more disturbing because they end up finding this house and the house has all sorts of like weird disturbing things in it. I even showed you a clip. There's not even a dinner scene in this movie. That's true. There's That's no dinner scene. Not only is the dinner scene classic to the 1974 movie, it's also redone in Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, where they have another dinner scene. Like, you I have to have a creepy dinner scene. Because the, they've had two iterations of this in reboots with Jessica Biel and then Alexander Daddario. Did they have a creepy dinner scene in those? I, I think they did. Yeah, I feel like that's like a hallmark of yeah. the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and they did not have one in this. They were doing it like Halloween, which was dumb. Because you're supposed to believe that this old, this dude who's probably like in his 70s is like supernaturally strong and fast. At best, at 70s. Like, it, what was he, a fucking teenager when he was uh, murdering everybody? And then they the feel original? like this weird guilt because they evicted the, this like woman from an orphanage. To be fair, they were wrong. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, they evicted this woman. They did kind of cause it themselves, honestly. And then he got real, the, uh, Leatherface got real upset because they evicted his mom. Or it his stepmom. Could not have been his mom. Doesn't make any, doesn't yeah. matter. None of it matters. And then, so they finally, he starts being a slasher and slashing people. But what's really bonkers is that he finally gets the chainsaw... But he gets it out of the wall because, you know, Chains they plastered it over. Really great storage places and walls. You don't have a shed or something. You know. Yeah, you can't just go to your shed and or get a chainsaw. Or if it doesn't have a closet or... And, and when he pulls it out, it's a modern chainsaw. And But clearly, the gas lasted for 30 years. Yep. Because you said that. You were like, oh, I guess gas lasts for 30 years. I don't it know does if it does not. or doesn't. It does not. Um, but the chainsaw looks pretty modern to me. It doesn't look like... I was surprised it wasn't an electric chainsaw because it seemed like the movie was maybe woke. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what was going on there. Um, then there's the never-ending bus that has... Oh, my gosh. This is one of the amusing scenes. There's a party bus. After he puts on his mom's face for no reason. Yeah, that was weird, too. I don't know why you'd wear her face if you're, like, attached to her. Why, like, why cut off her face? But uh, okay. Maybe you want to dress like a woman. I don't know. None of this is explained or makes any sense. Basically, they took any themes or um, anything that resembled a theme, and they removed it from the movie and just put in gore and, like, not even good gore. It wasn't really that gory. I mean, the bus scene kind of was. So there's this weird bus that's like this hippie bus that all these like millennial kids rented, right? And the bus, when you walk inside the bus, becomes like a house because they're having a house party. There's yeah, a party. It's like a nightclub. 
Yeah, it's like a giant nightclub inside. It doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. They like push past the curtain and they're just like this huge, like, enormous. It's so big that there's like 30 people inside of it dancing. And uh, Leatherface gets his chainsaw and goes in there and just, they're like, we're going to cancel you, bro. And then, then the one Asian kid's like, oh, fuck, he's serious. And then just everyone dies. Yeah, he just murders like 30 people for yeah. no reason. So that was one of the okay scenes. Because it was just made no sense and was ridiculous. The, apparently, the the there's a a bathroom on a bus, which which happens, but the bathroom's big enough on the side that they can like hide from it with all the other. It was absolutely just bonkers, but not necessarily in a good way. It was not good in any way. And then the whole I, oh tried we to forgot the about the part where she got uh, crapped on. No, for that, no reason. That was later. Was it later? Yeah, it was later. No, I thought it was when she was still in the house. Oh. Uh, yeah, she was still in the oh, house. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was... So, the caterpillar eyes is hiding under the bed as she watches, like, the cowboy dude get smashed in the face with, like... Th like I said, it's a slasher movie. It's not really a chainsaw movie yet. Then he eventually finds the chainsaw, and then she's hiding. Somehow, he can cut through the entire house. Like, there's, like, a whole Super scene. chainsaw cuts through like you know how rooms are in a house you literally have like a 20 foot 30 foot lane of His just chainsaw running and chainsaw stronger with age clearly it does and why it, it it was just like prometheus where instead of moving out of the way of the giant falling thing and going left or right you run straight forward which is what exactly what she did so the chainsaw is going straight for her so instead of rolling left or right. Yeah, because the chainsaw can't really maneuver like that. It cannot move once it's sawing something. It can't, like, it's going to be really hard to, like, curve a chainsaw. Yeah. So she doesn't move left or right. She just stays in her exact position. And then he cuts through a sewage pipe. She gets blasted Who? with some poopy. Yeah, she just gets blasted. It makes no it sense. It might have made her a little more attractive. Because then she goes out in the rain and it all washes away. Yeah, so and then that's she looks pointless. like a dirty girl. Then they go into the bus. And he does all of his boss thing. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. And, and then in the interim. Oh, and then the, then the, the lady who's like the Laurie Strode of the movie. Yeah, they we, recast the actress from the original movie. Like what? For some reason. And just hired a new old lady. And the old lady is like, I'm going to blast this man. And she gets wrecked immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Within the first five seconds, she just gets Fucking annihilated. Fucking destroyed. But also, she must have, like, organs of steel. Because <laughs> he picks her up in the air and, like, and holds her up and, like, jerking her off. Chainsawing her with in the, the chainsaw. air. And, and she lives. throws her in the garbage. Where she belongs. She just sits there. I don't like know if there was a theme that she minutes? landed on the on the garbage because that she deserved her? it. I don't know. Did she deserve that Why garbage? Why would she deserve to get chainsawed to death? I don't know. The, the movie I don't know I I don't know I don't I don't know any of it uh, apparently he def did he deflect a bullet with his chainsaw he did yeah, he deflected a shotgun blast with his chainsaw then they wa they like escape there's like two final girls right the two sisters because yep. everybody else dies and they're in a movie theater but some for some reason there's a pool of water in the movie theater as soon as I saw the pool of water I was like oh he's going swimming there's gonna be like a whole water scene of course there's a water scene there's a whole scene where the, the caterpillar eyes steals the chainsaw, but instead of sawing him, she hits him with the chainsaw. You're forgetting that this old geriatric dipshit took two shotgun blasts, almost point blank to the stomach. Yeah, and took a chainsaw hit to the face. Yeah, well, that one didn't really seem like that was like a nudge. Like he barely got clipped. He, yeah. Like if you're gonna chainsaw someone, shove it in them, not like clip them in the face with it. I don't think a chainsaw works where you can clip someone with a chainsaw. Yeah, like, I don't like. Uh, I mean, unless it's a, mo I mean, it's a modern chainsaw, so I it could do a lot. I really think they should have gone green and, and used an electric chainsaw. They really should to have. match the electric car. And then it would have ran out of power right at the end. They're like, oh shit. Yeah, then they could have been like, it could have been solar powered, and it could, the sun could have came up, and he could have been like, I've got the power. I would have, I would have been okay with that. Ending. I would have, that would have been a, 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 a would have been better, acceptable. So then comes, so they somehow, I don't know how they defeat him. What, do they? No, shoot that's him? how they shoot him twice, and then chainsaw his chin, and then he falls in the water, and they're like, we've done it, <laughs> yep. we've been saved, nothing can stop us, and. <laughs> Then the banker came out and was like, I'm going to file an elder abuse claim on this because you just hurt an old man. Yes, and filed an unusual activity report. Yeah. So, 
I, did she live? I don't know. She got sawed in half. The banker got sawed in half. Did she? Yes, she did. Uh, she was trying to escape through the window, and then he sawed her in half. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so she didn't make it. This is this is real weird. I just want to point this out. This movie's so bad, it falls on the trope of, like, black people die first. Did they? Yes. The best, the, the other chef. Oh, yeah. He was one of the first victims, and then the banker was also a victim. And I'm like, I thought we went past this. Like, why would you have that trope in this movie? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Although, no, remember the black guy, the, the main, one of the main black guys, he, li- he gets, like, sawed. But then he, he if you lives. see his injury, you're like, there's no way that his face gets like sawed in half. Yeah. He got like cleavered and his entire face was cleaved in half. It yeah, was pretty yeah. gruesome, but it wasn't yeah, it was he wasn't pretty, living through that. That was a pretty messed up one, yeah. Yeah. Uh so at the very end, they're about to drive away, and of course they have their Tesla still fully powered and yep. ready to drive away. And it's they somehow put it in they Auto didn't get keys mode. or anything. Maybe they did. There was a whole thing about getting keys. Yeah, I think I think they got the keys. I think they honest. got either yeah. way. It goes on automatic pilot because you can never take it out of automatic pilot. It you just, just can't goes. drive yourself. Yeah, you, you you think you want to floor it out of there, but you can't because it's on automatic pilot. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, the other sister gets pulled out of the car, and this is the second best scene in the movie where it, Leatherface just cuts her head off with the chainsaw. <laughs> And it's like doo 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 doo. Meanwhile, and the, other the car's sister's self-driving, like, and the sisters just screaming. Five miles per hour out of this uh, that sunroof. Yeah, screaming. Just five miles per hour, and that's how it ends. And was there an, a the post-credit post- scene of him wobbling to his fucking hillbilly house? Oh, I didn't see that. I like, I just came well, up with that. If they make a sequel to this, I will kill myself. It was not good. Yeah, not good at all. What really disappoints me though. Besides the fact that the cast is ugly. Can we just point out again how insanely ugly this cast is? And I feel bad because I feel like they deliberately made the actors uglier than they really are. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Nell Hudson. Well, first of all, all these IMDb pictures don't do them any justice. These Sarah are- Yarkin, where is she from? Na- put, click on her. What did she do? Do I have to? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, was she in anything? Be Happy Dead love. Day. Eat Brains Love. Oh, okay. That's 100%. That's a supposedly a good movie. You love Happy Death Day to you. Yeah. The worst movie she's ever been is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow. She is a new actress. She, she has is. not been a lot. Oh, and by the way, there's no nudity in this. There's not. Well, I'm not sure I'd want it, so. And then this Elsie Kate Fisher girl. She's from 8th grade. Yep. That movie. She looks like she's in 8th grade. Oh, my God. Um, Neil Hudson. Let's see what Neil Hudson's packing. Who's Neil Hudson? The oh, Nell Hudson. You said oh, Neil. Oh, okay. Nell Hudson. Oh my God. Has been in exactly one movie. Dear Lord. Several. Uh, yeah, and she doesn't even get naked in it. Good for her. I don't necessarily know if I Good want that either. Good for her. Uh, that is not a great picture of her. And then. Uh, but what I really wanted to point out is the producer of this, or one of the producers, this director. I don't know. Was it directed well? I'm going to say no. No. (laughs) But this guy, Fede Alvarez, it's a little disappointing. This dude. Oh, he did Don't Breathe. Yeah. And Don't Breathe Screenwriter and producer. And he directed Don't Breathe. And he did Evil Evil Dead, Dead. which I thought was like a pretty okay. Oof, he did The Girl in the Spider's Web. Uh, Yeah, that's one of those. um, what, What series is that? The girl with the dragon tattoo. Oh, yeah, sorry. Girl with the dragon tattoo. That was the weird one where they recast her, though, yeah, right? Yeah, That's, yeah. like, totally not the girl with the dragon tattoo. Nope. Some other girl. Claire Foy. I yeah, don't know. No knows. Daniel Craig, no Rooney Mara. Yeah, none of that stuff. It's totally different. So, yeah, I just was extremely disappointed in this Uruguayan man. As yeah, I, f- like, great. Don't Breathe is not a bad movie, right? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Don't Breathe too. Yeah, all th- this was just garbaggio. It was. It's a waste of your time unless you are absolutely convinced that you want to waste your time and watch one of the most awful movies I've seen in many, many years. Yeah. If, if you want to see how horror movies shouldn't be made, then boom, waste two hours. Or no, it's only an hour and 23 minutes, so that's good. It's like an yeah. episode of Ozark, honestly. It's absolutely terrible. So if you'd like to waste more of your time, 
watch it. Or just listen to us as we tell you not to watch it. Because if you don't watch it, or you do watch it, Noob Noob will potentially do this. I will buy an electric and solar-powered chainsaw, but <laughs> put dildos on it instead. Oh, my gosh. And then rev it in your butthole. Uh, until you give us all of your subscriptions. Or if you like it, then maybe we'll go on a date and see where this takes us in this weird journey that we call life. Oh, my gosh. Will you wear their face? I will. Absolutely. Oh gosh, that is terrible and commitment. terrifying. Absolutely. It, there's nothing like wearing your significant other's If your other's significant face. other won't wear your face, then they're really not committed to you, and they don't love you at all, and you should leave them immediately. Mm, that is terrible. And maybe sleep with her brother or cousin. All of those things are wins. Yep. So, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, please catch our full-length audio podcast. If you like what we do, we do it on iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher and all those other great places. And it's free for you. If you want to catch our full-length audio... Um, <laughs> stop. Creep. If you want to catch the live stream of that show where you can interact with our amazing fans and audience... Catch it 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights, where you want to come party with us because we're partying every time, but this time we're on to the next one. <laughs>